I feed my family of Hillstream loaches cichlid pellets, and somehow I accidentally got a couple small pieces of the food stuck to the glass just above the waterline. The next morning, I awoke to find the food surrounded by a bunch of tiny little bugs that just so happened to be some of the fastest moving animals on the planet. So, let's take a look. The tiny creatures seen here surrounding this little bit of fish food are called springtails. And I knew that this tank had springtails living in it, but I didn't realize that there were this many. And if you have floating plants in your aquarium, then there's a very good chance that you have some springtails in there too. But unless you're looking for them, you probably won't even know that they're there because they're very small and they look like little specks of dust jumping around on the surface of the water. Globular springtails like the one seen here are considered semi-aquatic. They like to stay on or near the surface of the water and when it comes to food, they're not very picky at all. They'll eat mold, algae, detritus, fish food, and just about anything else that they can find. There are thousands of different species all around the world. Some are terrestrial and some are semi-aquatic, but they all need relatively high humidity to survive. So the surface of the water in a nice warm fish tank makes for an ideal environment. They'll crawl under the rim at the top of the aquarium or spend their time cruising around on the floating plants. They can even move around on the surface of the water because their skin is very water repellent. Fish that feed near the top of the aquarium, such as guppies, mollies, platies, rainbow fish, and bettas, will eat springtails if they can catch them. But even if the fish don't eat them, the tiny springtails are harmless. However, some people still don't like the thought of these little bugs hanging around their aquarium, so they look for ways to get rid of them. And one of the best ways to do that is to apply dry heat to the places where they live because they need moisture to survive. So many people have suggested using a hair dryer all along the upper portion of the aquarium to wipe them out because they don't tolerate the hot, dry air very well at all. However, please be careful not to drop the hair dryer in the aquarium, because that might mean one less subscriber for the channel. Moving on, you can also remove dead plant material and other debris that gathers near the surface, and any driftwood or live plants that stick out of the water can also make an attractive home for the springtails. You should also be careful not to overfeed, and floating foods are especially problematic. However, I wouldn't even bother trying to get rid of them, because their eggs can sink in the water and then reinfest the tank later on. So they can be quite difficult to get rid of. Plus, like I said before, they're harmless, and they might even be of some benefit, because they help clean up uneaten food, algae, mold, and other things that you don't want in your aquarium. But the most incredible thing about these animals is in the way they jump, because the springtail has a remarkable spring-like device located on the underside of the body known as the furcula. This fork-like appendage allows the springtail to make incredible leaps, and when it jumps, it also spins at the same time. In fact, they're one of the fastest moving animals on the planet, but their speed is not in how fast they can run, but in how fast they can spin when they jump. Because springtails can spin at over 22,000 revolutions per minute when they jump. And to put that into perspective, a helicopter blade turns at about 500 revolutions per minute. So when a springtail jumps, it spins about 44 times faster than a helicopter blade. And most people don't even know that these amazing creatures exist, but they're one of the most remarkable groups of animals on the planet. And you might even have some of them living right beside you without you even knowing it. Thanks for watching, and I really hope that you have a beautiful day.